Hey content creators, welcome back to the channel. My name is Wesley Cable and in today's video I'm going to show you the best place to get stock images for your blog, website, and social media content. And if you stay till the very end of the video, I'm going to show you how to take advantage of an amazing free offer. Alright, so by far the best place to get stock images and graphics and everything else for blog posts and your website as well as social media is easily Canva and I'm going to show you why that is and how it works right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm on the Canva homepage so I'm going to go up here to create a design so I'm going to click on that and it gives me some choices that I can choose from but I'm going to click on custom size so I can get the perfect size for the image or the graphic that I'm looking to add to my blog post so I'm going to click on this now if you don't know already the perfect size for images or graphics for your web page or blog post is going to be 700 by 400 pixels. So I'm going to select that. So now I'm going to get on this screen here. It's got a white page. And now I can choose from all kinds of different images, graphics, stickers, anything that I want to add that I think will add to the user experience in my blog post or web content. So what I usually do is I go up to the search box and I type in whatever I'm looking for. So the blog post I created earlier that I'm going to post to my website is called Gray Hat SEO Techniques. So I'm going to go over here and I'm just going to type in what I'm looking for. So Gray Hat SEO and I'm going to hit enter. Okay so Canva has it broken down into graphics photos, videos, if you want to do frames, you can do frames. So you've got a lot of choices here. Now I really like how graphics look, so I usually go with graphics. So I'm going to click on see all here. So for Gray Hat SEO, here are a bunch of graphics that I can choose for my blog post. And so what I want to do is I want to find something that I think fits my post, something that catches people's eye, and I'm going to just select this one. So I'm going to go ahead and select this image. And as you can see, it's going to go right here on my canvas. And what I normally do is I just expand it to as big as I can get it. So this is a square. So I'm just going to expand each corner so that I get it nice and big here. Okay. Then I'm going to go up here to the corner where it says share. And I'm going to click on share. And when you click on share, I'm going to go down here to download. Now you have other options. You can copy the link if you want to. You can save it to folders if you want to. If you want to come back to this image later, you can do that. But I'm just going to go here to download, which is what I use normally for my blog posts. Now here's what separates Canva from all other stock image places, and it's right here. So it's going to give me some options. So it's already going to download it in PNG format, but if I want to change that, I can change it to whatever format I'm looking for. But I normally do PNG, so I'm going to leave it right there. Now I can also ask it to do a transparent background. So if there was a background here, I'm selecting to have a transparent background, so it gets rid of the background. I just want white on, you know, behind this image. So that's why I do that. And then this is the coolest thing. It says compress file. So it's going to compress this image so that it's not the best quality, but it compresses it so it doesn't bog down your website and use too much of, you know, of your website. So I click on that and it says lower quality, but I can tell you right now, you're not going to be able to tell the difference between lower quality and, you know, ultra high quality. So then I click on download here and then it's going to do its thing. It's going to download this image and down in the corner of the screen here, you can see it says it's downloaded and it's ready to go. And I'm going to go up here to my blog post. So here's my blog post here. I created this in Surfer SEO and I want to go ahead and add this image. So I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to go ahead and just click on add image. I'm going to select it from my files because I saved this image. And there it is. So I'm going to click on the image. I'm going to hit open and it's going to drop right into my document here. So you can see here I've got my image set in here. I'm going to go ahead and later I'll add the image alt text right on here, but I've got my image. So let's find another place that we can add an image, and this time let's look at a different type of image. So what I'll do is I'll go back to Canva, and I'll just delete this one off of my canvas, and we'll pick something else. So I'm going to go down to Photos this time, and I'm going to search for SEO because I'm doing a gray hat 
SEO article this time, and I'll just kind of comb through here and see. I kind of like this photo. This is pretty cool. So then I'll add it here. I'll extend it to get it as big as I can. Now I can even extend the sides if I want to, to just really get the biggest image that I can get. Then I'm going to go up here and I'm going to go to share. I'm going to go to download. And as you can see, all my settings are already saved here. So I can just click on download. And Canva is going to do all the hard work for me. And now you can see at the bottom of the screen, my image is ready to be added. So I'll go back to my article. And let's go ahead and place this in my article. So I'll go up here to add an image from my files. And I'll go ahead and add this image here to my article. So that's how easy it is can, using Canva to add images, graphics, whatever you want to, to your blog posts or website content. Now we're going to take a look at how you do that for social media. Okay, so you can see how easy it is using Canva to add images to your blog posts. Literally, that took me just a couple of minutes. And Canva has so many options for graphics or pictures. That's what makes it my, in my opinion, the best choice. Now let's take a look at what it looks like when we do it for social media. Now, as you know, a lot of social media scheduling platforms like Hootsuite, Buffer, you know, things like that, they're all integrated with Canva, which makes it super easy. So let's take a look at how easy it is to add some graphics to a social media post. All right, so I'm going to start with Hootsuite here. Hootsuite's one of the most popular social media posting tools that's available right now. And for any content creators who do social media, I recommend Hootsuite. It's amazing and it's awesome. So what I did is I went ahead and selected my LinkedIn profiles as well as my Twitter feed. And we're going to go ahead and create a social media post and go ahead and post it. So what I've got here is... I went ahead and created one ahead of time already. So I'm going to go ahead and paste it in here. So let me clear this out here. All right. So my post says, create stunning visuals with ease using Canva. Perfect for blogging and social media. This powerful tool can help you make long lasting impressions and it's got a hashtag canva there which i'll go ahead and leave so i've already got my post in here so now i'm going to come down here and as you can see in hootsuite there's a little c here so that means that it's already integrated with canva so i can just click on this c and it'll ask me what i'm trying to do and so for this one we'll just do a twitter post and it'll drop me into canva automatically and here we are so now I can add whatever I want. I can add a text. I can add uh, other elements, images, whatever it is. So let's just search over here. Let's search Canva and see what it comes up with. Now I've got some choices. So I've got some Canva graphics. I've got some photos. And so for this social media post, let's go ahead and add uh, a graphic uh, here, a photo here. So let's just, we can browse through here. We can see we've got a, a bunch of different choices. If we want to choose graphics, we can go back to graphics here, and they've got a bunch of choices here that we can use for our social media posts. So just to make it easy, because it's about Canva, I'm just going to pick this one. I think this one's pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and expand this out a little bit. I'm going to click Add to Post, and Canva is going to do its magic to go ahead and add it to my post. And there you go. So there's my design. So now we can take a look over here. It gives me an example. So for my LinkedIn post, it says, you know, has got my post here and it's got my image, which I think is really awesome. It only took us like two seconds to do that. And here's what my Twitter post looks like. So I'm just going to go ahead and post now. And that's it. I'm done. I've posted that. I added a really cool graphic and right directly from Canva. So the other platform I use for social media is called Buffer, and Buffer has the same integration, which makes it so easy to add graphics and stuff to your, uh, your social media posts. So I'm going to go ahead and click here, like I'm going to add a, another Twitter post. I'm going to click on the time, and I'm going to drop in my pre-designed post here. Let me get rid of these outside pieces that don't belong. Okay, perfect. All right, 
So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go down here on here and you can see this little C here. So design with Canva. So Buffer also has a link to Canva. And I think most social media programs do, which, what, which is what makes Canva so cool. So I'm going to click on this. It's going to take me into Canva. And I'm going to just go here to Elements. And for this one, I might just put social media. And let's see what comes up here. So I'll go to graphics this time. And there's all these really cool, colorful, detailed graphics that I can add to my post. So I really like, I think this is cool. So I will just expand this a little bit and add it to add to buffer. Click on my button there and it automatically will add that to my post. So now I can see my preview on the right hand side. Here's my little post and here's my graphic and all I have to do is schedule the post so it's scheduled so that it's that easy using Canva to come up with amazing pictures as you can see here they've got great graphics they've got amazing photos super detailed colorful photos that you can use if you want to put videos in you can even put some videos in depending on what you're trying to create there's a bunch of other stuff that you can do here charts uh, audio and all that stuff so as you can see Canva is a pretty cool tool it's super easy and the integration with all the other tools makes it absolutely the best. So there you go. You see how easy it is using Canva. I get that question all the time. What's the best place for stock images for blogs, websites, and social media? And by far in my experience, it's Canva. So I told you if you stayed to the end of the video, I would give you the opportunity to take advantage of a really cool offer. So down in the notes, I'm going to go ahead and put a link that you can click on and take advantage of 30 days of free Canva. So you can use all of the tools that we used for all the graphics, all of the pictures and videos and everything, and you get that for free for 30 days. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, go ahead and click like. If you want to see other future videos like this for content creators, please click subscribe. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much.